And you can see it's like this, log base b of x equals n. Now, the one thing you want to understand when you're working with logarithms is that exponential functions and logarithmic functions, they're inverses of each other. So basically what it is, it's like squaring and square rooting, multiplying, dividing, adding and subtracting. They undo one another. So what you can do when you're given something in this form like this is instead of taking the log base b of x, you can exponentiate both sides using the same base here. So this is raising it to this power. And what happens is these are inverses, they undo one another, and now you have it in exponential form. Now, if you have something in exponential form like this, we can do the inverse and say, I'm gonna take the log, okay, base b of the right side, and you wanna do the same thing, take the log base b of the left side to keep the equation balanced. But you can see these are inverses of one another, so they cancel one another out, and you can see now we're back to the original equation that we started with. So basically knowing how to switch back and forth is a really important skill when you're working with logarithms and exponential functions. So let's go through a few examples. This first one, three to the x equals 10. We wanna solve for our variable x, right? So instead of exponentiating, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the log base three of both sides of this equation. So what I did, as you can see, I just brought this three to the x down and the 10 down. But what I did is I took the log base three of both sides because log base three and exponential base three, those are inverses, they undo one another. And now you've got your variable x by itself. Okay, so you're with me so far? In the second example, we're starting off with a log. We're trying to solve for a variable x. We want to get rid of this log, so we're going to do the inverse of taking the logarithm, which is to exponentiate, okay, or raise both sides using base 5. The key is you want to make sure that these bases are the same. So exponential functions and logarithmic functions, they're inverses, they undo one another, and so we just get x equals 5 to the fourth power, which we know is 625. Okay, two more examples. Now this one here, we've got two to the x minus five power equals 50. We wanna get that variable by itself. So we say, well, instead of exponentiating, let's just take the log base two of both sides. Let me squeeze that in there. And you can see those undo one another. They cancel each other out. And so we're left with x minus five equals log base two of 50. All we have to do is add five to both sides. And you can see we've got x by itself. Now before I do this last example, I just wanna mention that if you're preparing for the ACT or the SAT and you want some additional help with the math section, check out my huge ACT math review video course and my huge SAT math review video course. Uh, they're available on my website. They're also available th through the links on my uh, YouTube About page, and I'll have a link uh, here as well. But let's go through this last example. Uh, we wanna get X by itself. We can see that this is a log base three. We wanna get rid of that log base three by doing the inverse or the opposite, right? So we're gonna exponentiate both sides using the same base. So those cancel one another out. And now you can see we have x minus two equals three to the fourth, add two to both sides. And you can see you have x equals three to the fourth plus two, three to the fourth is 81. So we're really just looking at 81 plus two, which is 83, and you got it. So I hope this helped you to understand how to work with switching forms between the log form and the exponential form. Subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.